In this video, we will explore the factoring strategy, or how we decide what method and what strategy to apply to factoring a problem. As we factor, the important thing is that you always do the greatest common factor first, before you consider any other type of factoring. From there, we decide which factoring method to use, based on the number of terms in the problem. If there are two terms, we are probably considering a factoring trick, such as a difference of squares. For example, if we have a squared minus b squared, we know that's going to factor to the sum and difference a plus b of the square roots, a minus b. If it's not a difference of squares, we also might consider the cubes formula. With cubes, such as a cubed plus b cubed, or a cubed minus b cubed, we know it will factor to first the roots, a and b, on both, and then a trinomial, where we square the roots, multiply them together, a times b, and square the last root. Using soap, we fill in same sign, opposite sign, always positive, to finish these equations. If there are three terms in the problem, what we will factor by is the AC method. For example, if we have x squared, minus x, minus 6, the AC method would say we multiply to negative 6 and add to negative 1. This is going to be negative 3 and 2, and because we have a 1 in front of x squared, we can jump right to the factors, x minus 3 and x plus 2. If there had not been a 1 in front of the x squared, we could have just been more careful as we built the factors. Sometimes with the AC method, though, we discover we actually have a perfect square. These will be problems, such as x squared, plus 10x, plus 25. Using the AC method, we're multiplying to 25 and adding to 10. This will be 5 and 5, which are a perfect match. This tells us it factors to x plus 5 squared. If the problem has four terms in it, we will use a grouping method to help us factor it. For example, if we had the problem x cubed minus x squared plus 2x minus 2, Splitting down the middle, we could factor an x out of the left side, x squared, sorry, giving us x minus 1, and a 2 out of the right side, giving us x minus 1. When those binomials match, we would have x minus 1 times x squared plus 2. Keeping in mind the number of terms and doing the GCF first, we can factor several types of polynomials. Let's take a look at some examples, and rather than factoring them, let's just decide which method we would use in order to factor that expression. In this first example, we notice there is one, two terms. Two terms subtracted with a square. That would suggest we're talking about a difference of squares, which factors to the sum and difference of the square roots. Let's consider this problem. Here we have 1, 2, 3 terms. With 3 terms, we factor by using the AC method. Let's consider one more. In this one, you notice that there are 4 terms. 4 terms, we factor by grouping. The number of terms tells us how to factor. 